Hey, so you know, with inflation going crazy out here, I decided to go get me a financial calculator because I wanted to find out if I had $4,000 in the bank last year, 2021, and I bought something, how much would I have to pay this year if I wanted to buy the same thing? Well, we're going to talk about it when we get back. I'm CLM2 for With Power, the channel that helps find the power within you. He's giving me power, all power, all power. Hey, happy Monday, everyone. We hope everyone out there had a fantastic weekend. I know uh, it was a beautiful weekend here in the Northeast. You know, I'm in the tri-state area. And guess what? All the free summer concerts are happening out there. I went to a great uh, Caribbean soca concert in the park last week, and it was fantastic. And there's a lot more coming up before the summer is out. So I suggest to you, wherever you are, get out to those free concerts. They are fantastic. Well, you know, today I'm just going to really just talk about money. And I was wondering with inflation at a whopping 9.1% and they just raised the interest rate again. Um, so now it's up to over 5% and um, with uh, the GDP was just announced that we went into the second, we had a second quarter in a row where GDP was down, which is supposed to say, or supposed to mean that we're in a recession. But the government saying we're not in a recession because they said jobs have been steady um, and, and they're saying that income is still steady. But I don't know. I know when I go to the supermarket, I know it's costing me a lot more money to buy the same items that I used to buy. So we may not be in a recession according to them, but I know my pockets feel like we're in a recession. And I know inflation is just crazy. So I went out and I went on Google and found one of those financial calculators where you can calculate any type of financial thing, right? And I was just wondering, I said, man, okay, if I have $4,000 in the bank in 2021 and I wanted to buy something for $4,000, how much would I have to pay today if I wanted to buy that same item? And when I did the calculation, it came out to $4,600. Wow an extra $600 in just one year, which means if you do it in the reverse, which means if I only have $4,000 in, in my savings account in the bank, it will only be worth $3,400. I've lost $600. That just blew me away. That just blew me away. And you know what? I've been reading a lot lately, especially this year, um, when I've been doing a lot of my investments, I'm realizing that the big issue is that many people are putting their money in a bank. The bank is only giving you a little interest. What is it now? 0.001% interest. And that's not only for the week. That's not only for a month. That's not for six months. That's for one year you're getting 0.001% on your money in interest for a whole year. But inflation is 9.1%, which means that you're losing money. Having your money sitting in a savings account, having your money sitting in a 401k plan, having your money sitting in a CD, having your money sitting in the IRA, right? You're losing money. And most of the time, you know, and I was duped into thinking that also, most of the time they're saying, hey, this is tax deferred. But how many times in your lifetime where taxes have gone down? So you're deferring taxes on your money now just so you can pay more taxes on it later. <laughs> it's crazy. That's crazy. So basically what that means is that, you know, your money is sitting there the banks are using your money. They're investing your money. They're giving it out to you who want to buy a house, and they're loaning that money to you. They're loaning it to you who want to go and buy a car. They're loaning that to you, and they're asking you to pay interest on that, and they're getting interest money on that, so they're making money off, off your money by lending it out to people, 
and people are paying these exorbitant interest rates and now interest rates have gone even higher. So they're paying the banks even more money. This is crazy. You have to find a way to make money with your money. And I've been talking about this for the last three, four, five, six months about all the different investments that you can get into so that you, your money won't just be sitting there stagnant, losing, depreciating. You need to find an investment where you can make money off your money and get a great rate of return. Right? And you know, so I just got into, I just got this book called How to Be Your Own Banker. You can look this book up by Nelson Nash. Outstanding concept. Um, I've looked at a few YouTube channels. One of the YouTube channels I want to recommend to you right now is a channel called Wealth Nation. Great young black couple, Darius and Carmen. And these two, you know, just talk about strategies on what you can do with your money in order for it to make money, right? In order for money to make money, it has to move. You got to move your money. Putting your money in a stagnant place where it makes very little interest, you're losing money. And I've been talking about Myron Golden for a while. You know, I've talked about him on my last two or three videos. He is an outstanding gentleman who just talks about how to make money in different aspects on, on selling. You know, he just, has, he just has some great videos. He just did a very a great interview by a young lady by the name of Rachel Rogers. And she says, all women need to be millionaires. Got a new book out. She has a great program. Definitely want to look into that. So once again, in the description, I will put uh, Myron's uh, YouTube channel. Also, I'll put that great young couple um, Darius and Carmen's YouTube channel in the description, Wealth Nation, outstanding, outstanding young people doing some great things. But there's a lot of people out there that's doing some great things and there's a lot of opportunity out there that you need to look into. I've been talking for a while about Novatech. Novatech is a great Forex company. They do trading of crypto and Forex and um, they're averaging, averaging 3% return on your investment. Not 3% for the year, not 3% for every six months, not 3% for the month, but 3% a week. They're averaging 3% a week. They are doing some great things. And there are other companies that's doing just as good as Novatech. So I advise you, don't have your money sitting there depreciating in some account. Start looking for investments so that you can start making money with your money. All right, that's basically it. So once again, uh, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the video. Don't forget to give me a like uh, on all the different social media platforms. Just hit that like button. Uh, you know, make your comments. Let me know what you think. You may have some ideas where people can actually make money on their money, right? There are ways you may know something that even I don't know, and we can spread it out to the people. Um, so, and once again, you know, I wrote a book, a book on 21 money-making businesses you can start today. And if you want to get that book, just go to my website and just sign up for my email list and you can download the book for free. It's a great book. You know, got 21 money-making businesses you can start right now. I wrote the book in 2021, but you know what? You go out there, you can just make this thing happen. Great, great read. All right? Um, hope all of that made sense. I wanna thank all of you out there for your support. Um, I know a lot of people hit me up on the social media on Facebook and Instagram and you hit me up and I wanna thank you guys for your support. And remember I'm here, if you need me, I put my email in the description, you always email me. And if you need some assistance on how to make some passive income. Um, you know, I had one of my videos where I was talking about where what a millionaire would do, a millionaire would find an investment that would get 6% return on their million, which is $60,000 a year and live off the $60,000. Well, if you can find an investment where you can make $5,000 in passive income a month, 
that's sixty thousand dollars a year and you on your way to being a millionaire just some food for thought just some food for thought i know right now the investments that i'm in i'm over the five thousand dollar a month passive income and you know it's just going to get better but remember as i always say i'm not a financial advisor any investment that you do there's a risk involved so don't invest money that you can't afford to lose once again don't invest money that you can't afford to lose but many of you i know out there have money just sitting in 401ks and ira accounts and cds and savings account and is just losing money and they're talking about it's tax deferred but in your lifetime when have you ever heard the government say we're going to lower taxes so which means that your money right now is not being taxed but later on when you get your money they're going to tax it and it's going to be at a higher rate they got you either way they got you all right, so it doesn't make sense to have your money sitting there waiting to be taxed even more in the future. Use your money now to make money now so that you can live a different life. Multiple streams of income. Okay, that's it. I've talked enough. Once again, as I always say, I will see you next time.